Alright, what is going on guys? Frazier or Thais K here and welcome back to a brand new video. Guys, today is a video where I just sit down and I'm going to speak to you guys more about myself, about the like, decisions I made. Since I uploaded my new car video, which you, if you guys didn't see, I uploaded that like two days ago. I got a brand new car, but since I uploaded that video, I've had so many tweets and comments and answers and questions, answers, I've had so many questions and stuff about my life, about me. You guys like really want to know more about me. Some people have been asking me, why do I not go to university while doing this? Why did I drop out of school? Why did I choose these options? Why do I do this and all that? So it's pretty much going to be everything about like my school life, why I chose to do what I do and why I'm, you know, sitting in this chair now instead of sitting in a lecture hall learning something at college or university. So before all you Americans get confused, pretty much in England you go to school, then you have an option to do a sixth form or a college where you get like your next degree then after that you go to university so it goes school college or sixth form and then university not in america i don't even know how you guys do it but yeah i always loved playing xbox throughout school like throughout the whole of school i would always be that guy that, you know loved xbox i used to be like the fourth best at Halo and kids around my school would be like, oh my god, you're that kid that was like the fourth best at Halo in Europe because I did some MLG tournament or something and came fourth. So, you know, I was like crowned the fourth best and kids around my school actually knew me for that. Like, someone would be like, oh, you're that kid that's sick at Halo and I'd be like, right, yeah, okay, I'm that kid that's good at Halo. I didn't really want to be known as that kid that was good at Halo, but I guess that's what I've been fucking, I'm in, I've been labelled that kid now, okay, so I'm just this kid. But I didn't give a shit, honestly, like, I loved Halo. And I loved it, so I, I don't care what, like, you know, someone calls me. It was never, like, a type of bullying, by the way. I was never, ever bullied in school, like, ever. Um, but, yeah, it was just, just clearing that up, just in case you guys thought I was, like, bullied. Uh, no. <laughs> but during school was at the point where I was in those clans, like, Rise, Obey. Uh, I was even in Saw and Optic while I was in school as well. Uh, so that was, like, when I used to smash, like, Xbox all weekend and play for clips, trick shots, all of that. I used to love it so much. But then there was a point in school, <clears throat> like during like my early years of school, I'd say like year nine or year ten, where my tutor came up to me. He was called Mr. Watkins, an absolutely great tutor. I do love him. Uh, he came up to me. He was like, Frazier, I've been on the phone to your mum. We need to work out a strategy for you to uh, so, so how we can organise you to like start doing more work and start playing less. And in my head, I'm thinking. I, I hate work, like, I don't have any desire to do the work, I'm, I'm not saying like every kid there hates work and shouldn't do it, but I really like, I, I like some of the work there, like, I'm not going to lie, I did like some of the work in school, like the IT and that, and I did really well at it, I did really well at what I enjoyed, and I, what I didn't enjoy was like the geography, the history, the English, the maths, I know it's like core cool stuff, but like it just wasn't for me and I knew that, but then I always had that feeling like, you know, this wasn't for me, so I always just went back home, I was like, fuck you, Tutor. I was like, I'm going back home. I played. I didn't actually swear at my tutor, by the way. I was never rude to him. He's actually a great guy. I did play Xbox with my tutor before. Well, I didn't really play Xbox. Me and my other friend, uh, Luke and James, who are also my tutor, like, found out his name and just joined his games on Left 4 Dead. He never spoke to us, but it was actually really funny. He was a great guy. But, um, but yeah, he always told me that I should try and work more. But, uh, you know, I always had this vision of playing more. And But my, my vision of playing was always because I was just addicted to Xbox. I never had, like, this end goal or end, like vision of like being a youtuber at that point so that wasn't like a thing back then obviously there were still youtubers that was like the start of youtube when youtubing became like a thing so it got to year 11 like my last year of school before i choose whether i want to go to sixth form or college right before i go to university so i have two years of either sixth form or college so i was like right i'm in year 11 i don't know what to do i'm just gonna go to sixth form it's like i stay in the same school so i can still see like most of my friends even though most of them are leaving but like i can still be with some friends so I went and did sixth form uh, at my school for like a year. I didn't even do it for a full, well, I did do it for the full year, but like I didn't commit for the full year. It was like halfway through the year, I was doing IT, business studies and communication and culture. <laughs> I hated them all, like, I don't know why I just did that. I was really weird. I hated them all though. And uh, halfway through the year, I was like, you know what? I don't even want to be doing this. I want to go to college and study games development. I have a passion for being a YouTuber. Like, I love YouTubing. I love games. So the closest thing I can get to being that to being a YouTuber is somebody that just makes the games. I mean, like games are like a general passion of mine. And uh, so I was like, fuck it. Like, if I can't be a, if I can't be a YouTuber, I'm going to go to college and I'm going to do games development. So I went to college. I left sixth form after like, or after the first year, I did my AS levels, got some of my AS levels, got like a C in business studies and a C in communication and culture or like a B and a C. I can't really remember. Uh, but yeah, I got those grades and then went to college. 
Studied at college and then guess what happened after the first year? After the first year I was like, I don't, I don't like this. Like, I, my, I, I have a, I've been trying to like substitute what I really want to do with like other things. I, I really love doing YouTube, playing games, uploading them to YouTube, uploading, bleh, bleh, oh, I can't speak. Uploading videos, vlogs to YouTube, pranks, everything that you guys love. I love doing that, but the closest thing I can get to doing that without actually doing that is just making games at college. And after the first year I was like, this is fun, like, I can see how people like doing this and if you're passionate about it, I can see how you can just absolutely go all out on this. But me, I'm not, I'm still doing YouTube on the side and it's still something I want to be my job, but it's so hard, like, I want to be able to do it full time and just commit my whole life to doing YouTube. It was the hardest thing to like, I don't know, to like withstand it. Then it got to the point where I'm in college and during college they like help you and make you uh, start applying to university. So I'm in college and I have just applied to university. I want to be a YouTuber but I've just applied to uni and I kind of have to go like after college there's nothing like unless I'm going into a job. I'm going to university for three, four years of my life spending £30,000 going into £30,000 worth of debt for the country to learn something I'm not passionate about. And I know that's the case for a lot of people and that is, you know, that's their position, but I was lucky enough to like, know there was something there as well uh, beforehand that I could fully commit to. So like, do you know what I did? After I applied for uni, like literally I remember laying in bed after I applied for uni, I was like, what the fuck did I just do? I spent my whole day, I just spent like hours of my day writing out like, writing out a letter why a university thinks or should think I'm good enough to go to university and I'm, I am don't even fucking care. Like, I don't give a shit if this uni thinks I'm good or not. Like I couldn't give a shit. I don't want to go. So I woke up the next day and I was like, I need to like find a way as to how I can become like a full time YouTuber or, or like, full, like doing this full time is my job. I need to do it. I need to fucking do it. So I started live streaming on Twitch. I made a Twitch account. And on Twitch, I managed to earn enough revenue for myself every month while I was still in college for it to be classed as a full-time job. I cannot explain how happy that made me. And I know YouTubers don't like to talk about money. I'm not going to tell you guys numbers and that. I'm not like some crazy millionaire guy. Like, no, guys, I'm not that. I make enough money to be able to live off of YouTube as like a full-time job. It's very comfortable. It's like, it's good. I, I don't know. I'm not like driving Lamborghinis and stuff, you guys. But, you know, I'm able to live off of YouTube and I have all of you guys to thank for that. So I got to the end of the year at college and everyone's like, yeah, I'm going off to university. And I'd already made up my mind by the end of college to defer for a year of university so pretty much I still got the option to go to university but just a year later I would start like the next term so I pretty much got a free year and that was 2015 no no that was 2016 like most of 2016 was my deferred year for university I'm actually getting emails and texts and calls from the uni kinks in university I was gonna go do games design uh, I'm getting like calls from there saying like yo Frazier where are you in that and you know I'm just here making YouTube videos because that is what I'm going to continue to do because I just have such a passion for it. I honestly like can't imagine myself other than expanding from YouTube into other things, which I know I am also interested in now. Uh, like I can't imagine doing anything other than YouTube. I would never go back to university, go back to school, go back to college. I know a lot of people might be like, oh my God, Kay, like what? But uh, I don't know, I see now like, I see now so many better ways, like, especially after being exposed to how much stuff I get exposed to online on the internet, ways to like just make money, have fun, do your passion. Like, I, I see so many ways and so many better things that I will be spending and that I will be spending, spending my time doing. Oh my God, I'm like stuttering. Just give me a, there we go. I can see so many better ways that I will just like spend my time enjoying myself, like doing those things rather than just, you know, being stuck in a classroom and doing those things. If you enjoy it, you know, being in a classroom and learning whatever you're learning in a classroom, thank God that you're at uni for something you're passionate about. I'm so happy, like seriously so happy for you if you are doing something currently that you are just fully committing yourself to because I know what that feels like and how great it feels to be able to do that. It also makes you at the same time feel kind of more secure in your head. Like, I remember before I went to university, I was like so insecure, like fuck, or not, not insecure, so insecure with what I wanted to do in my life. Like, oh my God, fuck, like uh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I don't want to be doing this for five years I don't want to be doing this for three years but I've got to so like it's a really unsettling thought to have to yourself and yeah now it is back to here I, I, I'm sitting in my chair I'm gonna make videos for you guys for as long as I can physically make videos for I've made like 850 videos that I have uploaded to YouTube for you guys that's just on this channel I've made more than others I've done countless hours of streaming I've streamed 24 hours at a time multiple times I've streamed like hours of my life. I wonder how many hours of my life I've actually live streamed on Twitch and streamed on me. I reckon that'll be pretty interesting. So yeah, what I'm not saying is that I'm like, you know, I hate school. Like, you know, fuck school. 
fuck that. And as long as you're passionate about it, whether it be in school, whether it be, you know, out of school, whether it be a job, whether it be anything, as long as you're passionate about it and you're committed to it, I'm so happy for you that you have found something like that because that is what I have found and that is YouTube. Like YouTube is my passion. I'm fully committing to it. So I hope you guys can understand why I chose something I'm passionate about over like that. It seems pretty self-explanatory to me. Some people might, you know, bring up the argument like, you're gonna you're gonna be working in McDonald's in five years and you're gonna be working in but like I don't like what no, I'm not gonna be working in McDonald's in five years because that isn't where I want to go and work. I, I have other things that I'm gonna go and do and that I will do and that I don't really I don't need the education for. I can get experience in other fields and that and you know, you know, go and pursue it. So yeah, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy that as to why I dropped out of school. Hope that answers any of your questions, guys. Please do subscribe if you are new. Like the video if you did enjoy this, or if you're inspired in any way or anything like that. This has been Fraser of Phase K, and I'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Peace out, everybody.